Hey, sneaking in a spare tonight, or today, or this morning, or this evening, or this afternoon. Today, I have a real weird one for you. You're looking at it and you're going, right, I've got a blank screen that looks mauve with four boxes. Which is rightly so, is what you're seeing. And one here says main, another's got like a little split world, one's got a monitor on it, one's got a screwdriver on it. And you're saying, what the hell is this? This is called Next. Yes, Next. Based on Puppy Linux, but with a Windows manager, and a lot of you won't have ever used or heard of before, it's called Window Maker. Now, do you remember Window Maker from back, 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 back in the day? Long, 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 long time ago. It's really old-fashioned and simple, but it done the job really configurable. Well, it's in this pub. Now, this is an experimental pub. Before we go anywhere at all, this is really experimental, okay? I'm going to say it again. It's experimental. Yeah. So, you know, use it at your own risk, basically. All right. I've managed to get connected to the net, and I've managed to download a browser. Now, it uses a Debian squeeze repos as well. So, you know, now you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Go around the desktop with you, so it won't be very long, will it? Look. Right. Really weird. You right-click this, and then drag it down to, say, settings. And this is your dot application settings. And here you can do your dot application stuff and start when Windows Maker is started. Bloody, 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 blah. Okay, so that's all right. Out of the way. This one here. Right click again on the icon. And we can go down to launch here. And that's your text editor. So the monitor is your text editor. And here, if we right click this one as well and go to launch, drag it down. Window Maker preferences. And now you're going, ooh, what is this? So we want balloon help? Yeah, we'll have balloon help. Be a bit of a laugh, isn't it? So if I click this one here, keyboard focus switching policy, window handling, menu usability. Very nice, that's all right. Icon size, look. Various settings, search paths, workspace navigation. So let's have a look at that one, just open it up. You can change your workspace navigations around it. It looks all right. Do you see what I mean about configurable? Yes, very, very, very. I mean, I haven't used Window Maker for... Oh, I actually forgot how to bloody use it, to be honest with you, because that's how long ago it was. You know, go a bit more longer. Animation speed, smooth scaling, tile bars, your mouse, go a bit further along, old keyboard there, the keyboard stuff, your fonty wanties. What's that one at the end there? Okay. Oh, disable mini windows, you can disable... Right, as you can see, really, really configurable. Oh, yes. Right. So you're saying, how do you get to anything? Well, if we right-click the desktop, we get a little menu. Now, it's basic, well, it's actually it's well basic puppy. It's like Deepup. Do you remember Deepup? I've done Deepup not long ago. Sort of based on Deepup. Very experimental. So I'm going to go down a bit. So info. Info panel, legal notes, release notes. So we'll go to release note. Let's have a look. See if anything comes up for a start. This is what I mean. Not everything works, okay? That's what I'm saying. We think it should work. It doesn't. So you couldn't actually do that one. It's a bit of a bummer, really. Anyway. I'm going to go down to applications. Now, if I go down to network, I've managed to get Chromium installed and working. You're saying, how did I do that? I went, oh, I don't bloody know, actually. Actually, last time I tried it, I even got um, Abbey Word installed, Pigeon installed and working, and Gimpy installed and working. And this time, I've not had such a good luck of doing it. I must have gone out and made a cup of tea or something and missed some dependencies. So anyway, as you can see, Comes up nice, works really quick, lovely, jubbly. I'll just go to my page for you. Moti Tazar things. So it's reasonably quick, isn't it? Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, very, 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 very. Anyway, get rid of that page. Now, as you can see, if I go down to applications again, we've got a multimedia. You get a couple before you start. Internet, a couple before you start. Network, a couple before you start. As you can see, put an internet messenger. I've tried to install it, and I'm missing it. so many dependencies, I can't get it to go. Bummer. You get bcrypt to standard, business, a calculator, a document, Abbey Word, as you can see, and I've, I'm still missing some dependencies. I'm going to have to go back through it again and see what I've bloody missed, okay? Graphics, you get a scanner. A file system, you can do all that. The usual here, usual, usual basic puppy stuff, okay? In the setup, you get all your stuff that you would expect. If we go down to the puppy package manager, and I'll show you what I mean, okay? And give it a little while to open up, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about, baby. I don't know, I can't think all day. Here we go. So last time I done it was really quick, actually. And as you can see, in the next puppy repos, there's hardly anything. But if we go over to Debian Squeeze Main, 
Let me go to into, say, internet. Yeah, we'll give the internet a go. Right, as you can see, there's quite a lot of the arcade installed. Now, say, for instance, right, let's just say, no, just say, I'm not saying we're going to do it, but say, but listen, just say, we wanted to install AMSM. So you click on AMSM, as you'll do in PUP anyway, and you wait for it to go and find out all the stuff that it needs. Now, normally, if you're using ordinary PUP, it'd be a pet file, and everything would be done for you, everything would be dory and it would work, okay? Right, let's examine some dependencies here. We should have quite a few now because I've just installed bloody loads for other stuff that won't work. So I'm waiting. Am I waiting? Am I waiting? Am I waiting? Am I waiting? I could go to sleep, couldn't I? Hurry up. This is the, as it's experimental, I'm going to let it off this, okay? I'm going to let it off being slow, should we say, at doing certain things. But this says to me that it's got an awful lot of dependencies and we're just about to find out how many it's actually got, okay? So wait a bit, wait a bit longer. Here we go. Right, so where do we start? So, so we've got eight, that's 18, 28, so we've about 50 dependencies that you need to download and install before you even install AMSN itself, okay? If you try and download them all at once, it just isn't going to work. And I'm going to try this one later, okay? I will do it. We'll try a bit later to see if it actually works. Because that would be nice, wouldn't it? But now you can see the problems you have when downloading from the Debian Squeeze repos. It's even the same for their own one as well, really, to be honest with you. you know, so don't worry about it too much. But that's how you do it. Anyway, if you fancy a bit of fun in virtual box, give it a go. It's not as easy and it's not as stable as all the other stuff. But it's fun, okay? It's just a bit of fun. And you might have a good time having a go, or you might like it for your distro, for yourself, really, if you can get stuff to install. Sneaky Linux, going out. I'll see you later. Bye, bye.